Hello. How's it going, Mr. Bernard? Why? <clears throat> I literally just started. Alright. Just started. But I'm turning off the YouTube because it always destroys my internet. Like, like real. For real. <sighs> okay. Oh, hold up, hold up. I'll be right back. Like, for real. I just forgot to fill up my water. And that's going to be... <laughs> a terrible thing to start my stream off with. I'm gonna get a water break and be like, oops, when we're actually in the middle of something. So, um, enjoy chair cam for a second. Slurp it up while you have the chance. Spotify probably does eat less internet than YouTube, but I need to set it up on this computer. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed that. Stop counting! <laughs> Caught you in the act. Caught red-handed. I see what you're doing. <sighs> Alright, let me try and get comfortable. I just had class. Um, as you can see, I had a super fun time. I don't know if you can see it. No, you probably can't read all my doodles there. But they say stop sleeping. Ah, deliver us because I want to die. <laughs> I could have counted much faster. <laughs> Alright. Stop counting. I swear, if you guys start counting down, it stresses me out. You know this. Delicious. All right. <sighs> what happens when we get to one? That's my issue. What happens then? This is very formal. Hold up. Let me, uh... Let me... Casualify myself. What if we count it up? Well, I mean, counting down has an end goal. Counting up just never ends. There we go. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a little... More snazzy. A little more cold. But a little more snazzy. Oh. We have down and up. Okay, see you in a bit, Mr. Burner. Alright, let me just check on what's going on with Discord. It seems like it has pinged people. Alright. Marvels this stream. Well, look. Hey, Galeardo. To start off with, we're not actually playing Marvels. We're doing something we have never, never done on stream before. Ooh, that's right. But, 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 ah! <laughs> but before that, I'm just going to give myself some free advertising of, uh, here they are. Let me copy and paste those. 
because I want to chuck those back in chat later. But not right now. I'll give people a chance to see my announcement and then I'll chuck those in chat. Because... Uh, not yet, okay. Not Fortnite yet. <laughs> Fortnite eventually, but not Fortnite yet. Uh, yes, new stuff exciting. It is exciting. Um, don't forget to fill out the Google Forms because we're going to have fun with those. Alright. Whoops. <laughs> Let me move over to this screen. Uh, never Fortnite, please. Oh, it's, it's too bad. Too. Has it really already been another month? Easy seven months. Shocked face. Three. I, oh, <laughs> shocked face too. Like, I thought it was like just six months. Wow, time is going fast, guys. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Rosie. Happy seven months. <clears throat> What's crazy is that, like, it's coming up to my one-year Twitch anniversary. And then after that, I think, like, a month or two after that, people are going to start having their, like, year anniversary for being subscribed to me, which is mental. Um, <laughs> don't stoop that low. I... I want to play Fortnite as a joke, though. I think it could be funny. Um, and I would sing Chug Jug the whole time. It's just, it's, it's a dream of mine. <laughs> wow, my voice is really bad today. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> but we'll do good. We're doing fine. Uh, just to start off, I'm wearing a few different rings today. I thought because Auntie Jeff's here, she'd want to see a couple of these bad boys. Because... <laughs> She's gotten me a couple of them. Uh, anyway, gotta get back to work. Busy times. Oh, that sucks. But have an okay time. I know work is terrible, but... Why is there a beauty blender up there? Heck off, sponge. It's good. Uh, hey, Unigama. How's it going? It is going pretty okay. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better, but I'm super tired because I haven't been sleeping much. Um... Because last night I had to stay up very, very late until the wee hours of the morning making sure a video uploaded properly for my princess business because I've been doing video messages to people for their birthdays. And this video was just not uploading. It took hours and I needed to get it to them today. And so I just, I stayed up until it was fully uploaded and then dead. Jacob Games! Happy belated birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Was it great? Tell us all about it. What kind of cake? If any. Um, hey Melroy, how's it going? Um, how you feeling today? How's the Vax effects? Vax effects pretty much all gone, I'd say. Like, my arm is fine. I mean, if I hit it, it hurts, but I think that's just from hitting it. Uh, I think they said that the spot... Yeah, there's still a lump there. And the lump where the exact injection is, is supposed to last for like another week, I think. So, pretty much gone, pretty much fine. Uh, yeah. The second shot I'm getting uh, will be two days before my Twitch anniversary. So, I think I'm getting my second shot on the 2nd of October, and my Twitch anniversary is the 4th of October. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try and do, like, a really long stream for my Twitch anniversary. So, you know, there might have to be energy drinks involved for that one. <laughs> I just realized they line up terribly, but that's what we're going with. I'll be right back. It was great. Went for a big Chinese meal. It was a chocolate Maltese cake. Very nice. That is very nice. Very, very cool. All right. <clears throat> I thought we should get started. Don't burn yourself out, please. We need you. Ah, oh. no, the, yeah, the second one's supposed to be fine. So... I'm hoping, like, I don't, you know, fingers crossed there's not, there'll be no throwing up like the first one, and I'll be absolutely A-OK -okay to do everything. Um, but, yeah, it's been a rough lockdown. <laughs> I know, like, I was planning on streaming a lot last week, because I thought it would just be like a flu shot, like, ouch, my arm hurts a little bit, let's keep going. But it destroyed me <laughs> for, like, a whole half a week. But we're back now and we're good. So today, 
we're going to be doing something completely different to what we usually do, which is going to be super interesting. Uh, well, it's not completely different, because what is different? We're always doing something odd here. But today I'm going to be doing a couple of tier lists. Not for the whole time, just to, to warm us up maybe, or start with, or it might be. It just depends how it goes. But I have a couple of tier lists lined up that I want to do with you guys. Um, it's going to take a bit of participation, so we're all just going to vote. Um, so the first one, I don't know if you've noticed the title, uh, Kappa is a D tier emote. Um, I'm willing to have you guys fight me on that. So I have this tier list. Now, let me see if I can move you guys up here so we can kind of see the letters. Uh, <laughs> But, um, yes, yes, okay, wait, wait, one second. We'll jump back. I should. <laughs> We're over 2,000 followers, for real this time, not with a bot raid. All of the bot raid followers have gone. We went over 2,000 followers like a couple months ago, but that was because we had like 500 bot followers. But they all absolutely died off. So now we have. 2,035 genuine followers. <laughs> Probably soon to be 2,034, because I know every time I start streaming, someone unfollows. Which is super fun. I watch it happen. Uh, because the stats are open in front of me. Um, but yes, I don't know, maybe I should... Tomorrow's stream, I'll do a celebration. I'll have one of my drinks. Maybe I'll have, like, the butterscotch beer thing. Not actual beer. Don't worry. Um, I don't know, Twitch is sketchy. Or maybe the black cherry drink. I don't know. I'll have a drink and we'll have a, a, a fun celebration because, yes, technically I did genuinely hit that. Uh, I do want to hear a joke. Um, I am sad. Can I get a hug? <laughs> eh. It's a very washed out hug for you. Uh, woo, congrats. Thank you. Uh, I do want to hear a joke, though. It was a fun time. Lots of time to unfollow. Well, there we go. <laughs> There's the one. It's been a good couple of months watching, but now... Heck off. Um... You know that that does sound dangerous. All right. Okay. I don't know the names of all the emotes, not gonna lie. Like, some of them I'm like, I don't even think I've ever seen that before. I don't see it used. Uh, let's start with this one. I'm just gonna put him here for now. What do we think of this guy? See, I've never seen it used before, so I'm leaning towards, like, F tier. But I'm really interested in hearing any differing opinions. Because I'm ready to chuck him in here. Like, who even is this bloke? Uh, I had a Jerry Cam Jersey Caramel Fudge for you guys, but lockdown stopped me delivering it. Aww. <laughs> um, follow age. Mr. Burner has been following once teeth for three months, 11 days, 23 hours. <laughs> not good, not bad. <laughs> well, one day it'll be more. Alright, well, no one's arguing me, so that's a solid F tier. Now, let me go here. My bold claim. I'm putting in D tier. Um. Wait, that's actually a fair point, so I won't be able to watch you as I'll be working at this time. No! And, hey, hey, and how's it going? Hey! It's going very good. Thank you, AJ, for resubscribing. That is awesome. Three months. Yay. Happy three month anniversary for the being here. <laughs> Dreadful. But thank you so much. Welcome back. It is going pretty good. I'm going grand. Um, we're, we're, I'm making a tier list right now. I've never done it on stream before, so I'm giving it a go. There are so many ads, but no free advertising, so just ignore them. <laughs> Oh, uh, put it in the trash. 
Um, see, a lot of these... I'm like, uh, 2 out of 10. But let's go with this one. I actually genuinely like this emote. In like a meme kind of way. I wouldn't say it's like... S tier, but I wouldn't say it's it's bad. Um, <laughs> Kappa is an S tier, you take that back? Why, though? Give me a good reason and I might move it out of D tier. <laughs> what emotion does Kappa even convey? See? That's why it's D tier. It's ambiguous. Hold up. Let me get here. Spam a couple of Kappas. Alright. Chuck a couple of cappers up. And they'll float across the screen nice and big. What emotion even is that? It's bland. It's boring. Come on. If anyone has a good argument for kappa... Go off, but for now, it's staying in D tier. I'm sorry. <laughs> the rainbow one. Okay, let's let's go with all of the same ones to start. Is the rainbow one better, the worse, or the same? Uh, hey, tongue punching. How is it going? Uh, I'm going pretty okay pretty tired tonight but that's all so the rainbow one it's just the same but rainbow I don't know better it's not black and white oh yeah okay okay splash of color so I'll go C it's better but it's not great um I like this one because there's slightly less of it like I'd be willing to say that's B, simply because a little bit of it's cut off. And, you know, the less you have, the better it is. Gamma gets D tier at best. It seems like my outlandish statement is one that most people agree with. Hey, bingo! Um, uh, thought to make you a night in case you had a bad day. Just a very tired day. <laughs> Rainbow slightly helps. Yeah, better-ish. Better-ish. I hate this one. Alright, this bloke here, I just saw him. I hate him. I hate him so much. His stupid, stupid face. Look at him. He looks like a smarmy little git. Oh, I flipping hate him. I'm putting him in flipping F tier. I don't even care what you guys say. I'm not even taking your input on this one because I hate him so much. Like when people were like, oh, now that Pog is gone, let's just replace it with this one. I'm like that stupid lizard. abso flipping not. Ha ha ha. I love him. He's one of the best Pog cha No! Absolutely not. I hate him. Look at his smarmy face. He's looking at me and he's like, Oh, I'm so much better than you. Ha ha ha, I'm laughing at you. Ha ha, I hate him. It's not even a pog, it's just bad. Exactly. Then it was all through my chat, all, all over the place. Just this stupid, stupid lizard everywhere. That's why it belongs in F tier. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um... <laughs> Now, there's a bear. I, I, I love bears. I'm going to put this in S tier. It's not quite S plus. It's not like a phenomenal emote, but it is a bear. Uh, so therefore it's great. Also, there's lots of frogs, so that it's, it's, this is going to be good. Alright. What other ones should we do? She likes pet over <laughs> I'm sorry. I like bears, okay? They're great. I should I should let you guys like see. I'm struggling with where can I make I don't know. But let me let me pick another one at random. I'm going to close my eyes and we'll pick another remote. 
This one. I've never seen this one used. Okay. Please scroll. What even is this? If someone can use that emote right now, absolutely go for it. Yeah, didn't think so. Nobody knows what it's called. And if nobody knows what it's called, it can't get above D tier. So, look, I... I'm... D or F. I... It doesn't invoke a response of pure hatred. And I hate it less than that stupid toothless man. So... I'm thinking D. D tier. Well, <laughs> you put Catherine D? Well, give me one good argument why it shouldn't. Everyone else in chat is giving me good arguments as to why it should be put in D tier. Okay? I think we have a solid progression. See, everyone has argued the same. Everyone is kind of on board with Capra's D tier. The rainbow one is C tier because the colour gives it a little bit of flair. And B tier is the other one because it's better because there's less of it. <laughs> Kappa is the go-to sentiment for sarcasm. Sarcasm is lovely because Kappa is life. Lull. Speaking of... Where is lull? Am I blind or is it not there? Ah, oh, here. Here it is. Where shall we put this lad? Is it bad to say that this emote makes me a little irritated too? Maybe I just don't like the laughing emote. <laughs> Better be an S+. Plus. Uh, S tier? I'll put it in S tier. I don't feel like it's an S plus. I'll, I will, I will give you an S tier, but I think S plus is, is for something very special. I think lull is just, it's a classic, it's a staple, but it's not like the best. Actually, I wish I wish we had um, kill. That would be good. Oh, let's go with this. The the, oh, the classic smile. Uh, <laughs> legend. That's actually what I used to think it meant when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to think that um, that better be F minus. <laughs> <laughs> it's an atrocity. I am not gonna lie. Um, Twitch emotes, like the actual emoji ones, aren't great. <laughs> Ellison, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Yeah. Like, when you, when you make a smiley face, Twitch just makes them kind of ugly. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's... Alright, so the, the love heart. What are we going to do about the love heart? I like the love heart. I want to put it at B or above. But I do want your input. S tier? Uh, just convince an American that we actually ride kangaroos and on Boxing Day we box them. <laughs> hey, Brandon, how's it going? Uh, that is perfection. Uh, the larger mm, looks better than when it's small. It looks kind of cute. <laughs> Alright, we're going S tier. I see no, no people against it. Alright. Oh! Hold up! <laughs> Hold out! <laughs> go, go! <laughs> Thank you so much! Hello. Hello! Hold up. Let me rub this off with my 
blanket, which is not a good idea. Let me put you on my MVP board real quick. Currently, <laughs> thank you so, so much. Sorry. Let, let me just reiterate that I am very thankful. You guys are keeping me going in this lockdown. Big ups to all of you. Massive love. All right. And a big love heart. Actually, I'm going to give your love heart a different colour this time. Just just because I'm, I'm feeling all sentimental today. Hey! Alright, let me put this, let me put this up there. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, universal emoticons are pretty good. Okay, let me pick this one. This one is incredible. I love it. 10 out of 10. Um, but, what are your thoughts? Does anyone hate it? Is anyone, like, vehemently against me putting this in, like, A tier? Because this is where I want to put it. It's not, like, something I see all of the time, so it's not, like, S tier, but I think it's at least A. I'm actually willing to move the bear down to A, I think. Because I don't think it's on the same caliber as the love heart. Looks better as a cheer mote when it's on fire. Alright, that seems, we seem pretty settled on that. Um... Next one, I'm going with this one. It's stupid. What is the point? I want to put it in F tier. But, like, who uses this? Look me in the eyes right now and tell me, have you ever used an emote that looks like this? If any of you say yes, I will honestly be shocked. Because what even is that? I didn't even know that existed till right now. Dang, my finger's itchy. F, F, yep. Yeah. Classic F. This guy. Horrific. My F tier is gonna be, be too big. Look at his stupid teeth. I mean, I know they're stretched out. But he also looks like a smarmy git. He looks like someone who's like runs a charity and then you pay to the charity, but little did you know, 80% go into their own pockets and only like 20% actually go to the people. He looks like he's going to rip you off. So for that, he goes in F tier. 2 out of 10. And by 2 out of 10, I mean 0 out of 10. It just sounds better. Um, this one. Lull in blackface? Is that what that is? I'm not 100% sure what this is. Uh, he looks like he runs scams. Is it lagging for y'all as well? Hold up. Let me check on. 10. And okay. by 2 out of 10, I mean 0 out of 10. It just sounds better. It's not that behind. I'm just letting you know that you should probably disown Tate as a brother. He just offered to pay me $10 to call you even a call. What a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, what a horrible person. Are you playing marbles? No, I'm, um... Uh, we are d making tier lists. Oh, sick. You, go to bed. What, what are we listing? Goodbye. Uh, currently we're, we're judging, uh, Twitch oh, emotes. can't see me at all. Hey, Choo Choo! What, what tier do I belong to? Oh, everyone here belongs to flipping S tier. Nice to Good night. You're gonna pull my ethernet cord, I'll pull your head in. Um, alright. This one. What? Did you say D? B. B. 
Well, it's not, like, very useful. Oh, trust me, it is. Especially the rainbow version of it. Well, it's not the rainbow version, is it? It's the one that goes... Oh, it moves. Yeah, it's oh. a head-banging cat. Oh, A then. We'll give it A. A? I'd be willing in to put this, like, in one of the S tiers. You can't, though. You Why can't not? put it in the top tier if there's one that's better than it. But that one is not there. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, that's like... You can't do that. But then nothing would go there. No, but you can't put... Like, this, a better version of the same thing in the same tier. Like, it, it just doesn't work. It does, this is not how life works. But it's so good! Yeah, but it's just not as good as the rainbow one, right? So it's S tier. The rainbow one could be S plus. That cat is... Yeah, people are saying S plus. People are silly. Yeah, there, there we go. Hold up, hold up. Put it, put it in See, again. See, that's cooler. So that's S plus. Yeah, that. <laughs> look. <laughs> you do it. Okay, people agree with you then. Yeah. See. But the rainbow one is not there. <laughs> so sh I put him in S. Yes. Okay, if it's not the animated rainbow kitty, it's not the animated rainbow kitty. Fine. Fine, 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 everyone. Fine. Remember, this is not your stream, this is our stream. <laughs> okay. You pick the next one we're gonna rate. Bandana Man. Bandana Man? Shirtless Bandana Man. <laughs> Shirtless Bandana Man. Does he move? I don't think so. No. I will never agree with him. He's a D. <laughs> He's D tier? Mm. I've never seen this emote used either. It doesn't move. Most of them don't move. Why? Lame. So, what is your... What is... Why does... What makes it a D tier over an F tier, just, just out of interest? Um... Scroll down. Because... That's an F tier. So... <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so you think this here is F tier? 100%. It's on a theme with the rest of the F tiers, and it doesn't really make a lot, a lot of sense. <laughs> is that sacrilegious? I don't know, Twitch chat. Okay, everyone's saying it's Ricardo. Yeah, it's Ricardo. So do you want me to move? Okay, well, hold up, hold up. Let me put this guy back but down. But he's old news. Should I put this one up? People are saying S plus. What? But we also have F. I'm willing to maybe put C. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, I agree with that. It's better than D. Fair play. I think that's against the law. <clears throat> All right, moving back to this one. Does that have is that Little Tease or Bro Tease? This is Bro Tease. He's the oldest of the young brothers. They're all young brothers. It's the oldest of, of my brothers. Yeah. I like this new camera set. Why? Well, because you can stand there and you don't have yeah. to put your mask and glasses on. Oops. Alright. <sighs> I think he looks stupid. Exactly. What? When? When would you use this? Uh. I'm gonna call you Phase. Uh, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Maybe having an absolutely <laughs> wonderful day. An absolutely wonderful day. <laughs> Shut your face hole. Shut your face hole. Cool. I like his voice. Very smooth and calm. What? Settle down. <laughs> Hold up, let me just allow that, because that's a fun fact. Um, F T. I'll make a decision. No, no one is giving me any. No one's putting anything in the chat for it, so I'm just gonna listen to Brotees on this one. F T. 
I'm going to hack his voice. Why is mum putting naughty things in the chat? <coughs> what do you mean? Once upon a taste, you saw it's you. Added permitted term, your <coughs> oh. That was because I allowed someone's message. Mm -hmm. Why is the purple heart S plus? S plus, very important oh. emote, that five head. Hang on, why well, you should have said something beforehand. We've been debating for ages. Wait, why is the purple heart a dodgy purple heart in S tier? Because it is a staple. It's like just horrible, though. It's not horrible. It's like bad quality. It's a purple heart. You're wrong. It's not even on your frequently used. <laughs> You're telling me you never My used... frequently used is just my emotes, okay? <laughs> Are you trying to say it's S-class when you don't even use it? You have to scroll so far down for that. Look at them! <laughs> you had to scroll so far. And? So it should be in your frequently used if it's that good. Of course, now it will be because you just spammed a bunch of them. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, are there no Borat ones? I feel like that's a bit sacrilegious. This one, it's it's quite high. I'd I'd be willing to say it's A or S. Your judgment is skewed. It's not my judgment. It's a classic. <clears throat> what 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 would you say that would be? Is it doesn't move? No. It doesn't move. No. Well, then it's like C. C. It doesn't move. It's just a red hole with someone's face around it. <laughs> it's. it's so you. It's so it. much more than that. It's just not though. And why is S the top class? Super. Or stupid. But like, it's just universally accepted that A is an A plus. Why S and S plus? Anyway. <coughs> well, you don't move either, bro T, so you in B too. What do you mean? I move. <laughs> that makes no sense. Bro T is spitting straight facts. You have some supporters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have some supporters as why that is not an S tier of And then I have some crazy saying I don't move. I'm not sure how that's possible. Alright, there's a bunch of these. I'm just that. It's from Spawn. No, 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 no. That. No. Okay, no. That. No. That. that. No. All the dumb ones that I've never seen, they can just go straight. Oh, okay. See, see the pixelated frog in the middle? Yeah. Epi? Yeah, that's S class. Oh, that... It's cute. It's the most it's adorable. Like S+. It's awesome. It's so cute. Oh, I like it. I'm going to put it here because I like it. Uh, and it's the first time we've kind of agreed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not let that happen again. <laughs> um, what else can we chuck? Mom, T, is she getting shown sexy ads? Close the ad. Close the ad. Um... Dumb. That makes no sense. It's not even a thing. <coughs> Dumb. Oh, you can make it bigger? Okay. See the mouth? What? Second row. Second from the bottom. Second row from the right. <laughs> from the left. Oh, yeah. yeah, that one. The mouth. Yeah. yeah that's, that's F class. F? Yeah. But that's Pog. That's dumb, though. If we go the actual pog, I'm putting it in S plus, without argument. Uh, hello, Mr. Burner. Welcome back. Hello, Mr. Burner. <coughs> uh, no. Okay, okay. No. No. I like I like this one. Which one? I like that one. That one? Yeah. Oh, this one. I like it. I don't think any arguments really need to be had about this one, but it's going definitely in the top three. 
Let's I'd go. be willing to say it's S plus. I want to put it in S for now and see how we go. S for now, but what? it's like borderline. In the, last, in the last four goes, we put two in S. Well, that's true. So we, I'm we being have to a, be a little bit more critical. This one is minus F. There is no minus F. I'll chuck it in F though. Uh, that can also go in F tier. Slowly weeding them out. Oh, is just the mouth classified as a pog? It's an interesting question. Yeah, that is a good one. They're saying S. I wanted to say A for that one. I don't think it's quite S. No, it's too basic. We have very few B tiers. Because B seems to be the middle. Where's, like, the indifferent ones? B and C. I'm indifferent to this. Okay, so... Controversial. But this one makes me so... Like, I don't like this one. I'm not put. I want to put it like. I say D. It's the weakest of the frogs. The weakest of the frogs. The weakest of Pepe. I just. He looks smarmy. I kind of want to smack him. Uh, and his evil twin. Where do you want to put the evil twin? Oh, me? Yes. Uh, um, I'll stick him next to his brother. Stick him next to his brother? F or... Who uses that? That's true. This just... That hits hard. Like, that hits different. This one? That's going to be like S. Because that's like... Like, the All face... Around me the face shows little sad, but it means big sad. <laughs> You're getting real philosophical about this one. You're like, that one. It's no, close like, to my heart. It's it's like little sad, but the little sad makes it big sad. You know when you're too sad to show that you're really, really sad? It's big sad. When you're sad in front of the boys, but you got to keep it together. Big sad, exactly. That's going to be S or S+. Plus. S+. Plus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a bit of a theme going on here. <laughs> <laughs> the sad that comes from your soul. I think all the good ones are done. All that's left is <laughs> gross or Pepe. We got any other like super good ones that we want to actually chuck on there? Uh. See, that's just drama queen sad. That's not real sad. That's not. That's just drama queen sad. What would that be? The other remotes represent the emotion. That one represents the soul. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the pog mouth as B. Because it's still pog. But it's not quite there. Wait, this one S+. Plus? Or maybe I'm behind, I don't know. There are so many just garbage ones in here. This is just, that's not even, it's like lower. Well, hi all there, this is Kermit the Frog. Let me just get rid of a bunch of garbage ones. Uh, okay. I'm gonna just chuck them all in here. If anyone has any complaints, heck off. Okay, this one I reckon is actually D. So many S plus ones. I know. Oh, that frog from the third looks like. This uh, one? Yeah, I don't know how to say it. Is it okay to say his name? First name? I don't know. Tom? Oh, Soup Boy. Yeah, looks like Soup Boy. <laughs> 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 I 
with his leather jacket and his glasses. Where would you put this anime girl? Uh, F, I hate anime. <laughs> Where would you put this Mexican anime girl? <laughs> F. I think that's probably all. <laughs> what do we think? I think that's pretty good. The rest are just just too many Pepe's. A lot of people make average... Oh, what you should do is you should put them back and anything that's not in a uh, tier is in F-. minus. Oh, oh, that's too much effort. Oh. Create an F-. minus. I can't create an F-. minus. <laughs> too much effort. Like, the F tier is cluttered. I get it. F tier... <laughs> There's a little too much going on in there. But I think the other tiers are good. Yeah. S, S plus is well-rounded. Yeah. When you're feeling cute, when you're feeling big, sad, <laughs> and whatever Pog is. <laughs> Matisse's energy is F minus. Oh. Getting hated on it's by... It's true. Hat-wearing gamer. Okay. <coughs> Household chores. I just do this in my spare time. <laughs> I can't see the photos from here. Mowing like. the lawn. Now you have to mow the lawn. What would you rate this? Well, <laughs> there's not even F tier in this. No, Wait, no, hold it all depends. Are you doing it with a whipper sniffer, a push mower, or a I, light on? Uh, add row below. Make it. Oh no no no! Help! Help! Oh, okay no no no! Help! Help! Quicker. Thing and then click X. I don't remember what it was. I think it was this. And then let me edit this new one and make it that color. And then I'll label it F. Wait, heck. Ah! Really bad at technology. <laughs> heck off. F. There we go. I would have to say. <gasps> Once upon a mom, thank you so much for seven bits. Uh, no, household they go will go in F. <laughs> after can no, after careful consideration. Yes, I know, where's that? Yes. After careful consideration, I'd have to say mowing the lawn is A class. A class? Or well, because you get to just you get to see it's so nice after you've done it. And you get the fresh cut grass smell. So like there's a big and if it rains right after you cut the grass, that's a bonus. So A, hundred percent. Has to be unless there's hills and then. I can't believe they didn't have cat jam in the in the emote one because that is S plus 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 my favorite two out I mean ten out of ten. Okay, what is this one? Uh, cleaning windows. I. Don't... I don't like it because you use like the paper towel and it leaves the paper towel behind. And you it's not like... a very satisfying job because the windows are never cleaned. Like, have you ever cleaned a window and looked at it and been like, wow, that window is clean? It's always dusty afterwards. Or it's got, like, the paper towels sticking Yeah, that's what I like, the paper towel streaks dust. And streaks. So, I don't think it's F. I don't think I, I, I hate it. It's just D, because it's irrelevant. Like, you clean to unclean. Alright, pick it up, dog poo. Mmm. Mmm. That's a fat F. That's a fat F! That's why you just go over it with the mower. Because it was there, and now it's not. Yeah, that it's just, it's nasty. All squishy and whatnot. Or dry. Oh. <laughs> Hate all chores, can't clean up to save my life, F to all. <laughs> but like, let's say, okay, they're not, like, we're not rating it A tier. A is more like, this is, this is a scale of yes, they all suck. But which would you rather do? Gun to your head, you have to do a chore. Think of the grass smell. Which are you going to do? Freshly cut grass. People like that and into candles. Okay. Um, doing the dishwasher. Mm. Unpacking is not that bad, but packing sucks because it's that's gross A stuff. I'd say class because dad always does it and I don't have to. I'd say A if you're unpacking it, but if you're repacking it, oh, like C. Because everyone always leaves everything in the sink full of water. It's gross. Yeah. Like, no, nah, that's C. No, nah, put it in C. No. Put it in C? Unpacking's not good either. That's has been trash. I hate it. Okay, dusting. 
I detest dusting. Why do people do it? I hate it so much. Well, I don't have to. But look at my look at my thing there, like what? right behind you. Oh, like look behind that. Flipping yeah. dusty. This. No, on on the shelf. There. There. Oh, behind it on the shelf. What? Look, uh, Mike's. Wall. No. Here. No. In between where you started and where you finished, the middle. Yes, but that way a little bit. It's just very dusty. That's what, we don't need. There's something in the way that way. Here. A lot of my surfaces are dusty. I need, like I don't dust them like this. I wipe them down. But I still hate it because it makes me sneeze. And dust is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> This is interesting. Now I know how to make your lives miserable. Thanks, Mum. After this, I'd take another bullet. <laughs> I'm putting an F tier. I hate dusting. It's horrible. Taking out the trash. Do you like taking out the trash, Brotis? <gasps> that frog! Disco frog. I maybe like it more than cat jam. I'm not sure. They're on the same level for me. Where was that one? Because that is like S++++++. I love it so much. Huh. That should have been on the tier list. Stop reading my personal notes and tell me if you like taking out the garbage. Oh, uh, I'm on it because that always does it. <laughs> uh, boy. Look. It's, it's not heavy. It's not the taking out the garbage that sucks. It's the relining the bin that sucks. But that's not. That's like the easy part. Yeah, but it still sucks. I don't know. I, I was like D, C. Oh, look B, because I don't mind doing it, but. Like... I'd rather do the dishwasher than the garbage. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because the garbage is heavy, and I'd probably drop it. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you need some muscular atrophy. No, hypertrophy. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was like, uh, <laughs> that would make it worse. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be sciencing? Well, what if we put dishwasher way. in B and then this in C? No. Okay. No. Should I put in C with the dishwasher? I'm not putting it in B. Yeah, no. It's That's... not a good chore. I don't know, but the new bin smells good. So... It doesn't smell good if it's got off food. I'm putting it in D. I don't care. No, the new bin. Oh, Trash is B. Choo choo! Trash is B. Why are you betraying me like this? It's yeah, not! It is, it is quick. That's right. How is trash And you can beat? get the mail. It's easy as. I'm waiting for a package, so I think I'll go take the trash out tomorrow and see if it's come. Dad says, shh. Sorry. <clears throat> Ask Dad what tier the trash is, please. <laughs> And the Jedi Pepe. <laughs> there are so many good emotes they could have put. It literally takes 10 seconds. What oh. more do you want? Fine. Oh. Oh, I'm out of here. I'll move it to C. See a loyal fans. Alright, what, what, uh, what are these ones? Gardening. B tier. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, I do kill, like, every plant I touch, but I don't think it's that bad. That's also a great one. I just, I really like the, the flashy emotes, clearly. Alright, what is that? Wiping down tables. For some reason, I really hate wiping down tables. Like, I... I'd put it here, because, you know... When you're on, like, some kind of camp or conference, you know, just somewhere where there's a communal eating area and you've all got to share a cafeteria, they usually, after each meal, get you to wipe down your table. 
And what do they do with that? They pass around just, just a bucket full of soapy water with a bunch of rags in it. Then you wipe down your table and then chuck the rag back in the soapy water. That's flipping disgusting and I don't want to touch it. I don't want to be sticking my hand in that dirty soap water. No, thank you. It is horrific. So I really detest wiping down tables. Whenever I go to a conference and they're like, time to wipe down the tables. Or it's like, okay, your group's turn to clean all the tables. I'm like, I would rather flipping die. So I really don't like that because you're wiping all of the gross stuff off the table. Then you put it into a bucket where the water is and the other rags are. And then you take it back like you take... No! I'm... I'm not rinsing a cloth in some dirty water. That's like... Ugh. Ugh. No. What don't you hate? Uh -huh. Okay. What else have we got here? Raking. Kaffir is an A tier em emote, is it? Because everyone seemed to agree it was D tier. What can I say? <laughs> some people are real mad, but some people are right. So, you know. Um, I don't think raking is that bad. I put it on the same as gardening. I don't know where the chore for burning things is, because that's my favourite chore. See, this is again gardening, but this is weeding, so I'll put that in S tier, because you get to burn weeds, and that's fun. Washing the dishes? Oh, okay, so, so now we have, let's just say washing the dishes. I don't, I don't wash dishes, because we have a dishwasher. But probably D, because that's gross. Again, just like the thing with wiping down tables, when you wash dishes, you have a thing of soapy water, and what do you do? You, like, dip a plate in and pull it out. You dip another plate in the same dirty water and pull it out? That doesn't seem very flipping clean to me. Washing the dishes is D tier, okay? Hey Tang, and damn the evil killer, thank you so much for following, welcome to the stream, hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a bit rude making fun of the way I talk, Mr. Burner. Alright, just leave it in the dirty water, choo choo. <laughs> Ironing. I don't think it's that bad. I don't ever iron. Um, last. Like, one, the one time I did try to iron something, I burnt a hole in it. But it doesn't seem that bad. I'm going to put it in B tier, simply because it doesn't highly offend me. Alright, vacuuming. It doesn't make me quite as grossed out as washing dishes and stuff. I will vacuum. But it's also loud and obnoxious, and it always makes me sneeze. Like, it's a, it's a hay fever inducer, that. C tier, cause like, <sighs> washing dishes is more than using soap. It's, it's using a lot of my mental energy as well. Vacuuming and listening to a podcast is B tier. You gotta have the podcast really loud though. And I'm just putting in C tier because of like hay fever reasons. And I think raking is probably easier. I don't know. Floor is clean, feels good, but then you walk on it and it gets all flipping dirty again. It's so annoying and then you just have to vacuum all over again. Uh, mopping. Mopping is worse than vacuuming. Or is that a broom? I don't know. Let's say it's a mop. It's worse than vacuuming. Wet floors. And again, putting a dirty thing into a bucket of dirty water and then smearing the dirty water everywhere. It goes in the tier with all of the other dirty water things. Mopping is the dishwashing of cleaning floors. Yes! That's exactly what I'm saying. It's the dipping into dirty water and then smearing it everywhere. 
Uh, washing the dishes is another chore I can do, but like I only do a couple of dishes at a time. That's my limit. Uh, I hate the noise of vacuums, so I'd rather use a broom. All right, what even is that? Oh, uh, doing the washing. Easy. A tier. I know my mum is sick of it. I, I know once upon a mum is in the chat and she'd probably say that is F tier. I'm so sick of doing the washing. Six people in this family. I've been doing it for like 25 years. I'm so done with washing. Um, but at this stage of my life, <laughs> when I do my washing or if I take it out of the dryer, I'm like, eh. I just have YouTube on and fold it. Although the hardest part is knowing whose clothes are whose because all of my brothers and my dad are the same size. So you just gotta play a guessing game of putting it in whose piles whose. Um, where's a gaming tier list? <laughs> you fold YouTube? No, I watch YouTube while I fold laundry. Okay? Not mental. <laughs> Alright, what is that? What what is that? What on earth is that? Top. I'm leaving it because I don't know what that is. Okay, wiping fans. It's super quick, but it is hay fever inducing. I'm putting it in B tier because you only have to do it like once a year. Uh, you actually get mops that come with a bucket that squeezes out all the dirty water from the mop and drains it in a different bucket. Okay, I, c I know that that's a thing, alright? Um, chess is S tier, it's more entertaining than most of your comments. <laughs> chess is great. Actually gonna play chess soon on stream, again. Uh, cleaning the toilet. F. Horrible. Cleaning the bottoms of the, the things. Not that bad, but not that great. Dusting. Where's the other dusting? I think there was another dusting somewhere. Yeah. F tier. Especially those things. Who has those? Only grandparents have those. <laughs> I do only fans, no AC. <laughs> nice. Nobody has those anymore. Except for grandparents. So I don't have to worry about it, but if I did, I can, I can like, envision the noise of just <laughs> as you try and dust those. Dusting is eight? Yes, but it makes you sneeze! Plus you knock over things and have to- it is not A tier. Dusting. I put it- what are you gonna do? I put it in F tier, just wear a mask. But then you have, like, mask sweat. I'm not having a mask sweat just because I have to dust. And I don't know what this is, so we're putting it in F tier. Here is our tier list. It's actually a pretty even split. I I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm sweating anyway from all the cleaning. Sweating is good for you. <laughs> It'll make your face break out. Uh, you move everything from the table onto a platter or trolley, then you dust it. <laughs> What's next on the agenda? Uh, one last tier list. It is, um, a comprehensive tier list of animals I can take in a fight. No external le weapons allowed. It is animals I can take in a fist fight. Toxic fandoms tiers? Ooh. So we have the tiers. Easy win for me. I'd probably win. 50-50, I'd probably lose, easy lose for me, or draw, no winner. But that's a 50-50. So I'm gonna get rid of the last one. That's dumb. So, lose. So we have win, probably win, 50-50, probably lose, or definite loss. Okay, <laughs> this is a good one. I, 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 that's why I saved it for last. I was excited and I was like, okay. People are going to be good with this one. <sighs> Alright. Let me start easy. An ant. And we're going, um, what I could beat in a fight. So, because I know some of you are probably bigger and stronger than me, <laughs> you can probably beat maybe more of the animals. But we're going with what, what we think I could beat in a fight, I think. Alright. 
Uh, <laughs> I will back up bear, found 5050, they'll sleep a lot so you can punch them, but they have some claws. Okay, so an ant, easy win. Pretty sure I've stepped on many ants in my time. Uh, I've been bitten by, like, the big ants. They hurt, but I can take it. I'm, I go, ouch. That That's mean. That's rude. I don't like it. Um, but then you know what? The pain goes away and the ant can be crushed by my fist. Easy win. Okay. Let me just go in order. Panda. It's really big. So, like, it is a deceptively big animal. Uh, total win. And it has to be a singular animal, not a horde. Yeah. Just the singular animal. The, the animal it shows in the picture there, all by itself. Um, I kill more ants in a day than people smile in a month. <laughs> uh, Ziggy, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Hold it. As <laughs> panda will decimate you. Uh, wait. Let me just change the title. Alright, I feel like, look. <sighs> it's some pretty big teeth. I know it's like a herb of herbivore, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they eat meat. I know it's a herbivore, but there's some pretty sharp teeth. I'd say I'd probably lose. Probably. Because I think some of these could beat me more than a panda could. I don't think it's like easy loss. I'd put up a good fight and, you know, it's not like straight up going to go for me. Because that's not exactly in its nature. But I still would probably lose because it's really big. <laughs> um, I didn't see a panda at a zoo. They look really intimidating. Uh, so, yeah. Like, it's not a grizzly bear. It's not going to tear me apart just for, like, fun. It's not a lion, you know? A lion would be an easy loss. A panda would be a probably loss. Because they're not on the same level. That's my logic anyway. Okay, giraffe. If you fight a giraffe, you're screwed. Why? Why would fighting a giraffe... Why? Don't you just have to, like, kick over one of the legs and then they come tumbling over? Like, my game plan... Right. My game plan... <laughs> I just remembered someone in my Discord was saying that, like... My fighting stance is the mantis pose. And right now I'm just like, right. I do do that a lot. Um, it has reach. Okay, yes, it has reach. But it'll kick you to Pluto. <laughs> but, like, listen. My game plan for fighting a giraffe would be, like, dart around so it doesn't know what's going on. It's got a big long neck. Surely it's going to take a while for it to, like, swing its neck around to have a look at me. So, like, dart around, because I got speed, right? I'm small, I'm wiry. And then just, like, jump kick one of its legs in. Hopefully break it so it's hobbling around. And then maybe break another leg, okay? Like, I feel like I could maybe do it. None of you believe in me. But, like, is that not an okay strategy? If you're in a fist fight with a giraffe, it's so much bigger than you. What are you going to do? You're going to have to run around and break one of its legs. Um, they break lions with one kick? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Easy loss. <laughs> Giraffes are stronger than you think. <laughs> Everyone's like, no. Stupid. Um, they can see you coming from ages away and move to face you. It's not a good strategy. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Are you kidding me? Giraffes are savage. 100% lost. <laughs> I did not know this. I did not know giraffes were so savage. Hold up. Hold up. Let me just 
put myself on just chatting for a second while I look up giraffe fight. Just because I don't want to come up with something dreadful that I'm not allowed to watch on Twitch. Hey, how's it going? All right. Just just waiting for this ad. 15 that second unskippable ad. Lots. Okay. Yeah, okay, but I'd be way underneath where their necks are swinging right now. Like, none of their necks are swinging as low as where I'd be running around. Oh, I got follow botted earlier. Oh, I hate when that happens. They can kick too. Oh, their legs are bending inwards. So their legs can bend inwards. There goes my entire theory of, like, jump kicking one of their legs out from under them. What a stupid looking animal. And it happened for the first time to me. I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> It's happened so many times, and it always destroys the stream because, like, my sound alerts go off forever and I can't even mute them. <laughs> I don't know. Kruflix, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Looks like we've got a clear loss. Alright, so giraffe is an easy loss then. I thought I would do better. Okay. <laughs> Pyrofire Deluxe, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Giraffe looks better than that gaming chair. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Alright, um. Wait, really? That is not something I knew, Choo Choo. <laughs> Gets banned for uh, giraffe prawn okay I don't know what bird is this is it looks kind of like a goose thing if, if anyone knows what kind of bird that is please let me know please correct me on what on earth kind of bird this is um I, I think I could beat it Canadian geese like I know geese have teeth but also I am very heavy compared to a goose. So as long as I can get a very aggressive win- Why is everyone saying I would win to nothing? Goose- I know. Geese are teeth. Geese ha are scary. But as long as I get a good grip around the neck, okay, I'm very heavy. If I sit on it, it dies, right? I think. I don't know. How big is a Canadian- Goose. They... Yeah! Look at that. I know you guys don't believe in me. A goose can fly- Yes, their bones are hollow. They're very delicate. You can defeat a goose. I'm gonna say easy win. You can kick it in half, probably. You may struggle to win if it's a good fighter, but you'll win for sure. <laughs> they can't keep flying forever. Yeah, as long as it's like a cage fight and they can't fly away, I should win. Like... <laughs> okay. The next one is a fox. Now... Foxes are very small. It's not a win. Stop! <laughs> I'm not gonna lose to every animal, alright? I'm not gonna lose to every animal. 
Look at these guns. You know what you see here? A winner. Someone who can fist fight the animals. Alright. You would win against a fox? I think I would win against a fox. I'm gonna say I'd probably win though. Because they've got like super sharp teeth that like rip apart chickens. And if I was like off my game even a little bit and it jumped up and got me on the neck, I might be done for. Fox, you'll probably lose. I just feel like as long as you can get a good grip on it, you can just, like, roll on top of it and, like, squash it. But, I might not. Uh, if those guns... Wait, if those are guns, they have to be water guns. <laughs> They're fast and have lots of aggression and stamina and will... and you will bleed out. Neck or thigh, major artery there too, yeah. Foxes are tiny, keep them away from your face and you'll win. <gasps> we have two different schools of thought. You won't be able to because it bites you and then jump off. <sighs> Should I put it in 50-50? I'll move it to 50-50, but I'm still considering. I'm still considering. Pigeon. Easy win. Pigeons are disgusting. I hate them so much. They are filthy. Like, my most hated bird... Pigeons. That's why I hate Sydney City so much. It's just flipping pigeons every- 50 f f I could beat a pigeon. One swift kick to a pigeon and it's gone. Alright? No. Pigeons have no chance. That's right. I'm gonna send you a goose video. I could beat a goose. Trust me. Oh, they suck, but some pigeons are adorable. Look up M Mascali Pigeon. Pigeons will play dirty though. Can you gi give me an example of how a flipping pigeon is going to play dirty? See, I don't like that. They freak me out with their little feather feet. Uh, it'll be a 1v1. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll call on five more pigeons to attack you. That's not allowed. It has to be a 1v1. I'll flip and kick the pigeon before he calls his mates. Um, play dirty, like, literally release their bowels on you. <laughs> Probably. But that just gives me more, like, slip away. <laughs> Lubricates me up so I can slip away from the pigeon's grasp. Um, oh, I love their plumage. They just, they, they scare me. I think, you know... My mum had has a, a feather phobia because when she was a kid there was bird lice at like the school she went to and she just saw it crawling all across the desk and stuff. So she raised me to be like everywhere I went near a feather she'd be like, oh, no! And so now I'm kind of scared of birds. Um, so that's social conditioning for you. <laughs> oh, is there no coconut crab on this list? Uh, there might be, I'm not sure. No. I don't know if I can add images to this. But yeah. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to say an alligator, alright? I want to go a, a, an Australian saltwater crocodile. So I know this is probably an alligator, right? Although it might be a crocodile, I think, because it's got the rounded nose. Doesn't matter. Uh, I want to go with something that I know. Okay. Four to five meters or two to three meters. Hmm. How to beat a croc a dial in a fight. Stay calm, fight back strategically. 
See, I've heard that if you stick your fingers up the nose holes of a crocodile, it breaks the seals of their, like, because they close their nose to be able to swim underwater, and if you break the seal, they have to let go and go up for air. So, I'm gonna say... I definitely lose. I freaking die if a crocodile... <laughs> I'd give it my best shot, give it a few punches and be like, not today, fella. But I would lose a leg and bleed out. But is the fight in water or on land? <laughs> Goose needs to move a tear down. It's not. It is an easy win. Goose is an easy, easy win. Like where? Where is your video of a goose? I don't see it. I would beat a goose. We'll come back to goose, okay? But. Is a crocodile, I'd probably... <laughs> it's an easy loss. I'm going to die. A crocodile would kill me. <laughs> oh, I just saw your punching technique. I think you'll be able to lose to the whole list now. <laughs> what do you mean? I whispered it. Oh, okay, wait. Uh... Whoops. Cider. 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 No free advertising. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but he's backing down, showing weakness. Geese smell fear. Is he dying? No. This is a battle to the death. Look at that neck. So weak. So dumb. You could grab that neck. Goose skate. See? Look at that. Those are grown men. If they didn't run, it wouldn't have attacked as badly. Dominate the goose. Give it a kick. Don't whack it with a thing. It's watching you with the thing, and you're missing. Just kick it. <laughs> See? They're all wimps. Face the goose like a man. Look at that. Yeah, grab it by the neck. Grab it by the neck and then sit on it. Stop trying to say kick a leaf. It'll stun them. I'm not Just saying the kick will easily kill them. I'm saying the kick will stun them. Just grab him by the neck, Sydney. <laughs> Look at that. She grabbed it by the neck. And she did it again. Thank you very much, Tang, for giving me the information They're I needed to Look say that it. I would beat a goose. While it's biting your leg, grab its neck and sit on it. <laughs> Wasn't even near you. Silly child. Well. Thank you for validating me. Bears. I got money on the goose. <laughs> Nobody believes in me. So you're saying hold your ground? Yes. The goose will get some hits on you. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not letting it get no hits. Like, just like the fox with the 50-50, it's gonna get hits on me, but doesn't mean that I can't eventually win. A two to one is big over. Come on, goose game. <laughs> Bears will take your head off in one swipe. Yes, but, 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 but. Brown bear. This right here is a black bear. I'm pretty sure you can just play dead. Now, once I actually go to attack it, if it turns around and is not facing me, theoretically, 
if I jump and put my arms around its head, could I, like, choke it out, do you reckon? <laughs> if I jump on a bear, could I headlock it? I don't know the specific... Ab I couldn't, actually. They're too cute. <laughs> you do not play dead with a black bear? I thought it was, like, if it's black, lie down. If it's brown, you're dead. I ha I don't know. <laughs> Stop being deluded. You have no chance. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> look, I'm trying to strategize here. You can't even jump that high. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. I've never seen a bear, have I? So I don't know how big they are. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, a camel. Camels are bigger than me. Camels are faster than me. Move the fox up, just scream at it. <laughs> I mean, look at the weight of an adult bear. A camel gets an easy dump on you. <laughs> Imagine a seven foot four um, bucko with extra hair. Speaking of things that are ridiculously tall, a moose. That thing, gigantic. What on earth? One more. Who could it be is now following? Hey, Derb. <laughs> Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Maybe having an absolutely wonderful day. Never go to Egypt. Uh, camels are as dangerous as horses. Yeah, like, they're fast. I, I reckon I'd say I'd lose. I don't even have a strategy for camel. <laughs> Just please never travel to Egypt. Why? Because I, like, try and fist fight all the camels. Oh wait, speaking of moose, there is one. Absolute loss. I've seen those things. Like, what? Like. Like, look at it. Look at these things. Did you see that? They're flipping gigantic. I had no clue about just how big these monstrosities were. I thought they were just like kind of deer sized. I just thought they were like, like cows basically, like chunky, chunky cows, but flipping heck. They are absolute behemoths. These are the Bigfoot people have been looking for. Like they're, they're horrifically big. I would lose to a moose, hands down. The moose has got me. The moose has got my entire bloodline. Those things are... Uh, no, because every beggar there will constantly beg for money and every woman there is not treated fairly. Just please never travel there. I wanted to when I was a kid um, because I did a history degree and I got my like first love of history was in ancient Egypt. But it doesn't look like it's going to be, like, fully safe for me to ever go there. I don't know. Uh, really high human kill rate in car crashes. Moose, moose walks away fine. Uh, yeah, I... Gone. Okay, dog. Now, that specific dog... I feel like I'd win. But, like... I... Uh, I feel like I'd probably lose to a dog depending on the breed. That specific dog in the picture? <laughs> Looks like I might be able to take it. But... Yeah, I just... Uh, I got rabies from once when I attack a dog. If it's like a Rottweiler or something, they're gonna like rip my entire muscle out and then I'm gonna bleed out in, in a garden before I even get my hand to call the police. Um, I want you to fight my dog, please. <laughs> so I'd say I'd probably lose. Depends on the dog, but most normal sized hunting dogs will take you. Yeah. Um, uh, not shoot. A dolphin. Now, it's really important to clarify here. Chat. What do you think the conditions of this fight are? 
am I in a wetsuit or is the dolphin on land? Or is it a kind of like knee high water where we've both kind of got our strengths? <laughs> like, <laughs> how am I going to fight this dolphin? Some Someone give me some like, what, what are the parameters of this dolphin battle royale? Uh, Buffalo debated me. They don't even have some wild wings. <laughs> dolphins have a reputation. I don't think um, it's going to try and kill you. Oh, I know. Dolphins are nasty. Shallow water fight on its turf. <laughs> All of the dolphins on land he's already lost. Well, yeah. Shallow water fight. Okay, on his turf in shallow water, I'm going to say like shoulders max is me. I reckon... Dolphins, I think, have sharper teeth than sharks, so if it's actually going to attack me, I think the dolphin would win. Simply because I can't punch in water, and it's got, like, flipping sharp teeth. Wait, dolphins can't even kill. Like, I don't think they're biters. You could take one depending on the terrain setup. I'd say 50-50. Yeah, but how would I, how would I beat the dolphin? Like, I can't strangle it. It's too slippery. Maybe I could seduce it. They seem to be down for anything. Uh, and I'd be like, oh, come here, Mr. Dolphin. And then when they come close, get him in a headlock. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Dolphin Ram knocks breath out of you. You can't swim and drown. Just say the water is waist high and punch down. Drown it. Uh, no dolphins spin and punch holes in sharks. Yeah, I think, I think I'd easily lose to a dolphin. You can seduce it <laughs> to come on land and then choke it with human air. <laughs> Perfect. They need to breach the water to breathe, but so do I. No, 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 no. This is like a cage fight with one animal. There is no calling his mates. There's, there's no other animals. <laughs> cage fight, one animal. <laughs> All right, goats. Thoughts on goats? I reckon I could probably take a goat. Depending on the horn size. Like, it would knock me over. Goat! You guys say everything. You guys... Ugh. Could you guys at least say that I win one? The only one that you've said I definitely win is the flipping ant. <laughs> They're relentless. They'll knock you off. Can we at least give it a 50-50? <laughs> like, how's it going to kill me? It's going to knock me down. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. You, you would win against a tree branch. Thank you. Finally. You guys are being somewhat... <laughs> Have you seen how high goats jump? Very high. You beat a fish. I just, I just think that I would beat a goat. Dolphins 50-50, they don't have any lethal attacks. I think they do though, because they like roll with sharks. They're like, we'll beat them up. I reckon a goat is a 50-50. Like, they run at me, but surely I can just sidestep them. Like, I'm not stupid. I'm not another goat that's just looking for a fight. You can beat an ant and a tree branch. How scary. I will never fight you. Have you seen how high Matisse jumps? Yeah, I jump pretty high. Ready? Wait. Get prepared. <laughs> Look at that. Classic. Incredible. Would you believe I went to zone for high jump at one point? I lost. 
but it just means that I was the best at my school at that time. <laughs> In the state, no, no, no. Out of actual competitive people, not even a little bit. But at my school, oh. <laughs> You went against a, uh, you went goat battle if you have a rope, but I don't have a rope. That was one of the things. It says no external weapons allowed. <sighs> so now I'm just out of breath. That's that's how little I've jumped in the last little while. <sighs> she jumps like a mountain goat. <laughs> Alright. Go goats are inter incredibly tough. Hard to break anything with your fist. Hard to break their neck. Hard to puncture skin. You need a rope to choke. Them. So I'd probably lose. Are you happy? Crab. Definite win. What? Actually, no, that's a lobster. Definite win. Like, what can it do? It can pinch me. But once it's pinched me, you just grab it. And boom. Fist fight. One. Lobster annihilated. Easy win. I'm looking for I'd probably win. Because I don't like my tier list is like... Hmm. Okay. Jellyfish. Again with the jellyfish, I assume it's on its turf. Like, am I wearing diving gear? How does one even fight a jellyfish? I think... I think I'd probably win for this one. I know I said I was just looking for an I'd probably win, but this is... Hear me out. It's not because I was just looking for one. I genuinely think it's a probably... Because jellyfish can't actually attack me. But for me to attack it, it's going to take some serious finesse. Now, if it's one of those super stingy poison ones, one wrong move, and I've paralyzed and drowned myself. But if I do the right moves, it's dead. Like, it's not going to attack me back. It's just up to my stupidity. So that's why I probably win. But I'm not going to put easy win because I know myself and I think something would go wrong. Kangaroo. Loss. <laughs> absolute loss. If it's one of those like big, big red ones, absolute loss. A little one, like the ones that you see in like national parks that you can go up to and pat, easy win. Those things are tiny. I mean, they're fast. But if we're in a cage fight, fast doesn't matter. So the little ones that you see all the time, easy win. But that is one of the big ones. And there's no way I'm beating a big one. It would kick me with its, like, sharp toes and then I'd be, like, gut me. Not fun. Not. Uh, <laughs> Batiste versus raccoon would be interesting. Um... I've never seen a raccoon either. I've been to America plenty of times, but I've never seen a raccoon. Um, do we want to skip to raccoon since we're all, all about raccoon? Uh, by the way, I made a compilation of your cosplays on my cousin's editing website all night, sent to promote yourself. I've worked hard for the first time. Ah, oh! Well, well, well. Fascinating. That's so cool. I'll have to check that out. Um, are they domesticated? Plenty of people I hear actually do have raccoons as pets. Um, so I think that the raccoon is, is something that can be domesticated. Apart from that, like they've got tiny teeth and claws. Like, if it gets one good bite on me, uh, things could go badly. But I honestly think I could beat a raccoon. I would come out very bad. I already know that I would come out, like, my skin decimated. 
it would just be scratched up. I'd have so many bites, but I still think I could take a raccoon. Um, I was watching a streamer earlier and they were doing a stream on dating or sibling where they look at pics on Instagram and have to guess if the couple, couple, a couple is dating or siblings. I've seen that, yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, what is that? Is that a Komodo dragon? Uh, Dilly Kong, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I think that's what that is. Yeah! Fun fact about these guys. Uh, my mum took me to the zoo when I was like... I think like three. And... Uh, we, we were standing at the Komodo dragon enclosure checking them out. And then it was time to move on because, you know, there's other animals to look at. And uh, I just refused, and I was crying and screaming because she was trying to take me away from the Komodo dragons. So, um, yeah. Apart from that, they definitely win. Those things are beefy. Have you seen one of those? Absolutely beefy. We had the smaller version, uh, a lace monitor, trying to break into our chicken house, and we had to scare it off. And honestly, it looked like that thing could have absolutely killed me. So, a bigger version of that? No chance would I survive. A Komodo dragon would definitely beat me in a fist fight. Um. Hey, Gunmaster. Uh. What is the danger of meerkats? A meerkat's dangerous. Meerkats can be aggressive and can deliver a really nasty bite. Meerkat's dangerous to humans. They've also become a somewhat trendy pet, but meerkats can be highly destructive and have a strong bite. If, uh, if that was a child, it would have caused severe damage, and meerkats are known for biting people's noses, which can cause facial scarring. Can a meerkat kill a human? Humans, it turns out, are just average members of a particularly violent lot, the primate blah blah blah. About one in five meerkats are killed by members of their own species. That's not what I was asking. I want to know, can they kill humans? Anyway, it sounds like, ooh, facial scarring. Ooh, that's the worst you can do, flipping meerkat. <laughs> Jennifer, hey. I think I could beat it. It's going to give me a few good bites, but while it's trying to bite my nose off, I'll grab it around the middle and, like, smack it. I don't, I don't know how big a meerkat is, but I think I could take it. What, what a... How big is a meerkat? That's not how you spell meerkat. Uh, oh, wow. Flipping tiny. Easy win. Easy win. Go. Oh. Okay, what are we saying that is? I'm just making a tier list. Meanwhile, everyone in chat is talking about flipping raccoons. Talking about... Ooh, what's happened to my... My internet died for a second there. Hold up. Let me just sip my water while I wait. We're a little Thank bit you so behind. much for following. Welcome to the stream. Have you having an absolutely wonderful day? I think that's what that is. Ooh. Yeah! Wow, we are a little behind now. It's because my internet is garbage. 
Anyway, I'm gonna just continue tier listing, I suppose. Just gonna finish off this tier list and then, uh, end, I guess. Alright, back we go. So many to easy lose. All right, Axolotl, easy win. You step on him. Octopus? Depending on the size, easy win. Like a really big one, like if it was a Kraken, I'm going down. But an octopus of normal proportions? Dead. Rhino. I'd lose. I'm not even asking for opinions on that one. <laughs> that is the losingest of losing. Um... gone shark <laughs> let me get let me get the losingest of losing out of the way um <sighs> see i hear if you punch sharks in the nose they go away but this is not i mean does that constitute winning a fish the fist fight if they get upset, no. We've all looked at these like it's a fight to the death. And sure, I could annoy the shark by punching it in the nose, but if it really is a fight to the death, the shark is not going to leave and do nothing. Once I've punched it in the nose, there's not much more I can do. That's a loss. And I'll take that loss. Uh, a wolf, I would lose. <laughs> a seal, that's really interesting. Um, depending on the size, I reckon it really depends on the size. If it's like a full-grown seal, it's absolutely gone. I mean, I am absolutely gone, it's not. <laughs> but if it's like one of those baby ones that you see, like, you know those videos where they're like, oh, we saw a fishnet around this goose seal. And then they, like, pull one round. Like, that's a little one. And I think I could take a little one. So I'd probably lose. Uh, danger of meerkats, they're cute. Okay, toucan. Another bird. I would win. Uh, I'd probably win. Like, it's got a pretty big beak and it would fly a lot. A lot more than a goose. Like, geese would be easier to grab. I feel like with that big beak it could maybe poke my eyes out and then I'm done for. So I'm gonna say probably. Alright. A sloth. Easy win, those things are flipping useless. Also, and I've talked about this before, but I think sloths are incredibly overrated. Look at his face. He is smug. And if we've known anything about when we rated the Twitch emotes, I don't like the stupid smug ones. Like that stupid lizard. So that's why I don't like sloths. Because they all look flipping smug. They look like they're laughing at me, and I don't need that negativity. 
So I'm converting chat to the raccoon side. I know. We, we were having a good time. We were making a good tier list. And then everyone's just like, mm, a raccoon. <laughs> a raccoon. All right. Is that a cassowary? That looks like a cassowary. They will absolutely deck you. What is the most dangerous bird in the world? World. Cassowary. The world's most dangerous bird. At least when humans are concerned. Can cassowary kill you? The cassowary has been known to kill human beings with the slashing blows of its feet. Death. KO. I'm gone. What is a whale? So, hear me out. I feel like I could beat a whale. <sighs> On a... <laughs> Sorry, I'm... give me a moment so I can try and take myself seriously. <laughs> um... If I move myself over here, I feel like that makes more sense. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think I could beat a whale. Now, I heard that whale whale throats are only like I don't know four inches <laughs> hold up uh, four to eight inches now <laughs> if I manage to kamikaze myself and get inside the whale's mouth and just kick in its throat that whale is going to be pretty uncomfortable now now the <laughs> it would be to the detriment of myself but that looks a little bit like a blue whale i think and they have like floofy teeth they don't have teeth teeth like if if finding nemo didn't lie they have those teeth that looks look like broom. Oh, what are they called? You know the bits on the broom, the sweepy bits of the broom. So, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's gonna bite me hard. But I feel like if I was in a, a diving suit and I managed to get inside the mouth of the whale, I could do some real damage. So, you know, there's my logic for that. Um, yeah, people are saying the video is behind. Let me just check up on where it is. Either way, huge lag. I know. My eye's out and then I'm done for. Yeah.
then the internet's just having a spat. But I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm still gonna keep going. Um. I don't think the whale is gonna kill me. I think 50-50. So I'm gonna put it there. When the stream catches up, feel free to argue that point. Because I know that you're all going to argue that I could definitely not kill a whale. A turtle. <laughs> she, she, hey, Boss Molex! Welcome. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, but maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. <laughs> um... Okay, we're down to the last couple. I don't know who this bloke is, so I'm gonna leave him. He's not going on my tier list. He he gets to just go away, because I don't know who that is. Um, but a turtle. Like, I know snapping turtles can do damage. But normal turtles I feel like I could win like it would take some maneuvering and it's very fast but I feel like I could beat a turtle now a walrus Like, no external weapons are allowed, so I can't just jabber the hut this walrus, which is the biggest issue. Because if it's a battle to the death, walruses have got to be, like, somewhat slow. So I think in that regard, I could get the upper hand in, like, movement speed. But how, how am I going to beat it? There, there is no way. A walrus would probably kill me. I'm gonna say I'd probably lose because I feel like I don't know snap off its tusks <laughs> so there's maybe one way to win but other than that not a chance okay Sometimes she says things that make you think she's on some hard substances. <laughs> what did I say now? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Froggy just said they could beat a whale. Like, we already know that. <laughs> That's right. I could. You do know this. Because I'm hench. Alright, um... <laughs> I could beat a <laughs> whale! <laughs> My logic is flawless. I'm not wrong there. Okay. Snakes. Pressure inside the mouth is so high you would die before you choke. <laughs> Snakes. See, it really depends on what kind of snake it is. If it was a venomous snake, I'd probably be done for because those things are fast. And I mean, yes, it, could, it would probably get a bite on me. I'd probably still kill it, but then I probably wouldn't get to a hospital in time. 
thank you for clipping that. Um, but if it's like a python or something, something that's not venomous and not too big, like if it's massive, like a boa constrictor, I'm done for, but that's not a massive snake, that's a little snake. It does look venomous though, because it's got like that more like triangle shaped head, but it's super small, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if it was a python, I'd let it bite me. And then, like, I don't know, grab it and start whacking it. <laughs> but I think I'd probably lose. Because they're super fast. But, like, that tongue, it looks like a venomous snake, I think. I don't know what kind of snake that is, man. Um... It also has these brush sort of muscles. They kill their food by squeezing them to death in between the mouth muscles and the brush like teeth. Oh, good. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay, a porcupine. I reckon I'd win. I'm going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to have a lot of stabs in my leg, but I think I would win. I think that porcupine is absolutely done for. A pig? I'd probably beat a pig. I'd probably beat a pig. Like, sure, they're heavy. They're a lot bigger than me. But... What are their offensive moves? Like... It's not gonna kick me. Is it gonna bite me? I don't think so. What do pigs do when they attack? I don't think they do anything really harmful. I think I'm pretty safe on this one. I'm only saying I'd probably win. Simply because it's going to take a lot of effort to win. A lot of effort. Right, the last one is cow. <laughs> Everyone got, got to the part where I put the whale as 50-50. <laughs> And nobody is happy. Oh. I'm still having a fun time, so don't sweat. <laughs> oh. All right. A cow. <sighs> Again. <Hey! laughs> oh. Good night. Oh, thank you so much. Offensive moves. Like, I don't think I could beat a cow. But could a cow beat me? That's the real question. Like, this one, it. Oh, 
not. Just keep being amazing and entertaining. Matisse, the delay can't stop you. It's... Live in Australia. The internet is garbage. And I don't know why it's doing that tonight, but hey... We're still here. We're still having a good time. That's okay. But a cow is honestly just throwing me. Like, without outside weapons, no way I could beat a cow. No way, no how. But yet, yeah, the cow could not beat me. I don't believe a cow could beat me. That's, I'm going to say 50-50. Because what are the offensive moves of a cow? Answer me that. What is a cow going to do to try and beat me? Like, it could try to bite me, maybe. But cows don't have very sharp teeth. It could maybe try and, like, land on me. I just, yep. Yeah. I think 50 50 is good because, like, that's the best. I have no arguments either way. Except for I don't think we could beat each other. It's going to be a stalemate. So, <laughs> so he's going to become the new Steve Irwin wrestling all the animals. Well, according to you people, it would go very badly, seeing as you guys don't even think I could beat an octopus. Which I could. Every animal, you're like, you could not beat that. The only one you like, absolutely, hands down, you could beat it is an ant. So, unless you want to see me die, I probably shouldn't become the new Steve Irwin. She certainly thinks she's Steve <laughs> Why does chat just bully me constantly? <sighs> I don't think I'm... St I'm trying to take this seriously, guys. I'm trying to come up with strategies. Okay? I think I answered this as seriously as possible. Except for maybe the whale. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> the only one I think that's on there that is not a serious answer is the whale. But I don't know, I don't know where to move the whale to. Because I don't know, is there a chance I could win? Is the one thing I'm trying to think of. This is racking me off because it's all twisted. Like, if there's a way I can win, I'd, I'd put it in, I'd probably lose. But I can't think of a way for me to win. But then again, can the whale... I like... <laughs> now I've made it more twisted. That's grand. That's grand. Good stuff. There we go. Uh... Where are we at? I think it's good. Someone's gonna make me put the whale somewhere else. <laughs> if they can aim, she's dead. Where are we? We're up to the porcupine. I don't remember where the porcupine was, though. Where are we at? Like, this one, it... Oh, just keep being amazing and entertaining, Matisse. The delay can't stop you. It's... Live in Australia, the internet is garbage. And I don't know why it's doing that tonight, but hey, we're still here. We're still having a good time. That's okay. But a cow is honestly. We're up to the cow. It's just throwing me. Like, without outside weapons, no way I could beat a cow. No way, no how. But yet, yeah, the cow could not beat. Bermuda, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day.
Uh, okay. Lol, yeah. Then it's a stalemate. They'll both keep their distance and try to outstarve each other. <laughs> um, it really depends on who you can starve longer repeatedly. Uh, cow could probably charge and knock you down. Well, it's a cow, cow. I suppose, yes. But, like... A bull could definitely beat me. Not, don't get me wrong there. A bull could definitely beat me. But, like, a cow? I don't think so. I think bull? Absolutely, 100% would decimate me. Cows? I reckon. <laughs> now you've made a good point against why a cow would win. I'm like, okay, if a bull would win, then why couldn't a cow win? Because it's different, and it's not all testosteroned up, I think. I Stop picking apart my logic, please. <laughs> Did I hear correctly? You think you could beat a whale? <laughs> oh good, there's a pole. Cow or Matisse? Very large cow or very small Matisse? <laughs> oh. One person voted for me. Oh, now it's 50-50. I love how you had to just put there very large cow and very small. Like, you're leading the people in the direction you want them to go. Mods, watching you. Cows will ram you and trample you. You have no significant attacks against cows, so they'll win. If it's between Matisse and a cow, I'm betting on the cow. How mad is the cow? <laughs> 75% of people think a cow would beat me. There are YouTube videos explaining in extensive detail how you'll never be able to defeat a whale. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do I have to move both cow and whale down to loss? <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Although, who voted that I would win? I would. I want to say thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. <sighs> Are you happy? My day is ruined. <laughs> I have faith in you. Two people have now voted that I would beat a cow. But, uh, a large percentage of everyone else is like, no, the cow's gonna win. And that's the poll. Apparently the cow wins. It's fine, I changed it. I hope you're all happy. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you're happy. Well, here we have the final tier list. I think it's pretty good. Might save this one. Log in? What a waste of time. What if I just... What's the shortcut for snipping again? I frankly don't remember. I'm just gonna like... Okay, wait. Great, we are very close now. Are you guys? Of everyone else is like, no, the cow's gonna win. Yeah, we are pretty close now. But yeah, here we have the final list. Are there any last disagreements? I mean, I have already snipped it, so it will be a bother if anyone disagrees. But I think. 
think I'm pretty good. <laughs> Big brain, why sign up when you can snip? <laughs> I never remember the shortcut for snipping though. I always have to look up the snipping tool like some kind of loser. <laughs> because I never remember it. People have told me so many times and yet I'm always just like, mm, I, I don't know. Toucans are hella aggressive. Well, that's why I said probably. Because it's small. Okay, we're finally caught up. It always happens that around, like, 11pm, the internet gets really good. <laughs> um, can we move the everything except the ant to easy? <laughs> what? I would beat all of- th you, th you don't think I could beat a pigeon? I could beat a pigeon. Move everything except the ant to easy loss. No, okay. <sighs> the only thing you can agree on is that I could beat an ant. I could beat more than an ant. I could at least beat the axolotl. What do they do there? They sit there in a bucket going like this. Easy win. You don't think I could beat an axolotl? Goose is not an easy- Goose? is an easy win. I could beat a goose, okay? You just don't have faith in me. You just, you need to believe because I know I could beat a goose. I know I could beat a goose. You just gotta not run. It's gonna be scary. You're gonna come out with injuries. You're gonna get cut. That's just something that you have to go into the fist fight knowing. But you're also gonna win. Like, if we're saying it's a battle to the death, I can see no way in which a goose is going to kill me. It's going to... A goose is going to cut me up a little bit, sure. But it's not going to kill me. No. It's not going to kill me. No chance. No way. If anyone's doing a killing in that situation, it's me. And the goose is gone. Uh, I'm not saying Matisse would be a terrible fighter, but I don't want to say she's going to get the tops. <sighs> I would win! <laughs> Wario died in Zimbabwe. 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 Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Goose is totally an easy win. Thank you. Your goose is cooked. Hold up, hold, hold up. Edit message. Please don't forget that I have Google Forms right now. So please, after this, go into my Discord and fill out my Google Forms for future streams because I will be reacting to what you write in there in future streams. So, very important. Uh, hold up. Dev. Heck off.
Okay, but 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 for, but for real, um, the animals I could beat in a fight just just for the person that jumped back in. Okay. Uh, um, is this tier list here? Wait, this this tier list here? Where are we? Uh, as you can see, I could beat an ant, a goose, a pigeon. A lobster, a meerkat, a uh, octopus, uh, a sloth, a porcupine. I'd probably win against a thingamabob. <laughs> What's that? A jellyfish, raccoon, toucan, veg... I'm so tired. What? A vegetable. It's not, it's not a flip, flip, flip. I need to go to sleep. Sea turtle and a pig. 50-50 against a fox. I'd probably lose against a panda, dog, goat, seal, walrus, snake, and an easy loss is a giraffe, crocodile, bear, camel, moose, dolphin, kangaroo, Komodo dragon, monkey-esque thing, I don't know, gorilla, chimp, flip if I know what that is. Uh, rhino, shark, wolf, cassowary, whale, cow. So that, that's what we've got. That's what we've got. And, uh... Something went wrong, couldn't find that clip, probably because it has, like, copyright music. And... The clips with copyright music gets automatically deleted, if that's what that was. Dredson, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Anyway. Oops. I accidentally clipped something. <laughs> instead of pressing raid. Um, it's been a while since we went to the ducks. <laughs> what if we trained you? People were, were, were arguing on every point except for Ant. They don't believe I could beat anything. So, off to the ducks. Go look at animals that I definitely could beat. 